Hello everybody, I'm Mary Oz Sims, I'm the Holistic Tooth Fairy and I'm here today to do some live free quantum teeth reading. So if you've ever wanted to know why one part of your mouth is more vulnerable to decay or gum problems than the rest of your mouth or if you don't understand why you're getting problems with your teeth even though you take care of them so well um, and you see other people uh, getting off scot-free even though they guzzle Coca-Cola and never brush and they don't get cavities and you just can't understand why there may be psychological or emotional or um, spiritual or even ancestral reasons uh, influencing the vulnerability of your teeth and gums to these kind of problems and so um, my quantum teeth reading process which is unique uh, can help to uh, offer some um, insight into what kind of metaphysical influences there might be on your teeth health problems. So the way that it works is I use the meridian system which comes from traditional Chinese medicine and associates each tooth with a particular meridian or um, energy field line in the body connecting different body parts and also um, with different emotional uh, um, meanings attached to that meridian. Um, and I also use a system from Dr. Michelle Caffin, who's a French dentist, um, and that's sort of a uh, emotional, psychological, uh, and social uh, explanation. So if you would like a teeth reading, say hello in the comments. I can see some people have joined me, which is great. Let me know that you're here. Um, this is the chart to work out what tooth number you want to ask about. So this is the left side of your mouth, the right side of your mouth. That's your left and your right, not mine. Um, the top of your mouth, the bottom of your mouth. And I've put the line down the middle because if you count back from the center of your middle front teeth, it's easier to uh, choose the right tooth, uh, get the right tooth number. Shannon says, what is this? So a quantum tooth reading, if that's what you're asking about, is an uh, interpretation of, hello Shannon, uh, of the, um, the metaphysical influences on your teeth house. So it might be emotional, social, psychological, um, ancestral, or even spiritual. And so how it works is you tell me what number tooth, or gum area, so I'm just doing single teeth readings for free in this live reading, or a single gum area. Let me know the number of the tooth and the type of symptom that you're having, whether it's a receding gum, or you've got cavities, or you've had a root canal in the past, whatever's going on. And then I uh, do um, an intuitive interpretation of what's uh, going on with that tooth from that metaphysical perspective. And I use the Meridian system, the uh, system developed by Dr. Michelle Caffin, and my own intuition, which I access using my tarot cards, which I've been using the same deck of <clears throat> beautiful tarot cards from um, uh, Carol Bridges. It's called the Medicine Woman Pack. And I've been using this deck of cards for over 25 years. So. It uh, and I have a very kind of open and clear <laughs> kind of communication channel for my intuition. Um, and so I'm bringing that into the mix as well. So if you would like to know what uh, kind of emotional, social, psychological um, influences on your teeth, have a look at that chart, work out the tooth number or number associated with the gum area and I have to apologize for the, the mistake over here um, so I had to write this chart out with the numbers backwards because uh, Facebook live is always a mirror image and um, I was doing really well except I got mixed up on 30 
So, um, hello Isis, I can see you're here. So if you would like to uh, come on camera and ask about your teeth, you're more than welcome. Um, otherwise, put your uh, uh, comments. And yes, some of you can absolutely have a tooth reading. So how you get a tooth reading is tell me the number of the tooth that you would like to know about and describe your symptom for that tooth in the comments and then I'll give you a reading. That's how it works. So I'm here for about half an hour. So I can usually get about five or six sometimes readings done in, in that time. And uh, so anyone who would like a reading, um, Lisa says, I'm waiting for a client to be ready or I totally would. Well, next time, Lisa, it'll be lovely. Danielle says, 14, I have a cavity and I have had a filling and number 12 has always looked a bit rotten as well. So I'm just going to write that down. Helps me keep track of things. Um, this is a very good question. These numbers, do these numbers include wisdom teeth as well? Yes, so this is the full set of adult teeth, including wisdom teeth, which is why I put the line down the middle, because it's easier to work out your tooth number from counting back from the centre rather than from the back forwards, because if you don't have wisdom teeth, then the numbers will be different. So start in the middle of your front teeth and count back to work out your teeth numbers. And I'm going to do a reading for Danielle now about uh, tooth uh, 14. So that is the uh, second premolar on the upper left side that she's asking about. And that tooth in the um, in the Michelle Cafan system relates to uh, the inner world, so your um, your emotions, your thoughts, your feelings, your desires. Thanks, Esther. It's lovely to see you. I'll see you next time. And Summer, I'm just going to make a note of your... You've got uh, 19 with a cavity and 30 as well. Okay. Right now I'm going to talk about Danielle. So I'm just going to pull a card for your uh, number 14. Mm. That's the six of arrows. And that um, card goes really well with the, uh, what aligns closely with the um, interpretation from the meridian system for that two, for 214 which is broken power and um, so I think that that um, cavity in that 214 is an embodiment of a feeling of powerlessness in relation to um, your emotional desires that being able to ask for what you really want um, on an emotional level and some, somehow um, having that not having maybe the, not having the confidence or the sense of um, self-worth and deserving to ask for what you want emotionally. Danielle, um, uh, that inhibition for you has um, has become taken a physical manifestation in the in the tooth and um, and caused that cavity uh, to decay away. Now the good news is is that uh, cavities um, are pretty easy to fix with holistic strategies. So we can uh, apply a range of physical support, including changing some things in your diet to make sure that the teeth and animals being really well nourished, relaxing your jaw so that um, the, the right kind of hormones and proteins that should drive our remineralization um, and uh, that 
Um, and then also, of course, the metaphysical side. So looking at that sense of looking at what it is that you need to ask for emotionally and and um, uh, taking on some more power, stepping into your power and, and self-confidence about asking what you want will all support the healing of the teeth. So let me know, Danielle, if that uh, had uh, resonance for you. And um, Shannon says, can you explain to me again? It was hard to understand. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so the quantum teeth reading is a metaphysical interpretation. That means it's the, looking at the non-physical causes or influences of what's going on with your teeth and gums. So... Uh, this is not instead of understanding physical reasons because they'll always be both and they'll be interacting. But what happens for lots of people is that they take the physical steps to heal the problem in their mouth, whether that's going to the dentist and having the a conventional a mainstream approach of uh, repair, or it's taking the holistic approach that I help people with and um, and addressing the problem, um, the cause of the problem with diet and um, exercise and relaxation and oral hygiene. Um, if those things aren't working so well, uh, then it's very likely that there's a metaphysical reason, like an emotional or a psychological um, issue that's causing the body to block that healing. So whether that means that um, you have like a root canal that goes bad or a filling that falls out or an implant that um, the body has a really bad reaction to or it's that the diet isn't working to support your teeth, the teeth healing diet that um, works so well for many people. If that's not working, that may be uh, because of these underlying emotional issues. So you, it's, it's really important to look at those as well and that's... Um, what we're looking at today. So I hope that was a bit clearer for you, Shannon. I hope I'm answering your question. Danielle says, absolutely does resonate. Thank you. That's really good to hear. I'm glad, Danielle. And if you'd like some um, support with uh, healing back cavity naturally, uh, do just send me a PM and we can look at what um, I can do to help. Shannon says, thanks. My teeth at the top bleed. Just the front four at my gums. What could that be, even though I brush my teeth gently? Okay. So um, bleeding gums uh, uh, is very often indicates a mineral deficiency. So uh, that will be the direct physical cause, most likely, is that you're either not getting the right kind of minerals in the right balance in your diet, or your body isn't able to process them in a way that your gums can use. But the fact that it's just happening at the front four of your gums is where this metaphysical interpretation can really help. So the, the front uh, teeth, at the, it's at the top. So they relate to your desires and um, particularly to um, uh, the kind of the, the middle two relate to your parents. So there may be some issues for you, Shannon, about um, uh, about those relationships not being everything that you want and need them to be. That might be what's going on. Let me pull a card and see if that's going to give us some more clarity. Yeah, so this is a relationship card too. We've got the Eight of Bowls for you. So um, this is this is a card about wanting to be loved and not being uh, able to um, get the love that you need. Um, and that may be part of what's causing the, the gums to uh, bleed in that front area. But there's definitely going to be mineral issues as well, I would say. Yes, Sun Rose, it is your turn. So you've asked about 19. You've got a cavity in 19. So that is 
on the first molar on the bottom left. Okay, so that uh, tooth relates to uh, emotional issues as well, but more about emotional communication. So let's pull a card for you, Summer. Mm, okay, that's a beautiful card. This is healing and um, this uh, this tooth is uh, I think this tooth is giving you trouble because of a deep grief, a deep sadness about the desire to be loved, not um, oh, I can feel the sadness of almost making me want to cry. Um, uh, Summer, I I feel like you need to heal that that sorrow in your heart to really be able to heal your tooth. Um, the tooth is holding on to that grief so that even if it's not part of your daily thoughts and if you don't feel like that that sorrow is is um is current for you now, your tooth is still holding on to it, your body is still um not yet been able to release that grief and move on. And so a big part of the healing for you will be um to let that flow through you, release it, let it sink down into Mother Earth, uh, take that grief on you so that you don't have to carry it around physically in your body anymore. But does that, I mean, does that have any resonance for you? Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments, um, both Summer and Shannon, uh, whether um, what I just say um, resonates at all. So for anyone who's just joined us, I'm doing quantum teak reading. So this is a free reading of a single tooth or gum area in your mouth. And the way that it works is that you let me know in the comments what number uh, tooth or gum area you've got a question about and what the symptom is that you're experiencing, whether it's a cavity or a receding gum or something else. Summer says that's also when the opposite tooth broke as well. And used to always go in my teeth because of my upbringing, because of my mother's treatment of me. Yes. Yeah. So I think um, as well as whatever other emotions that you might have about your upbringing and your relationship with your mother and how she raised you um, or how she treated you, uh, there's some grief there in that particular tooth. And I'll grind your teeth. Yeah. Yep. So grinding teeth is really hard on teeth. Um, it's, um, it's a symptom of tension in the jaw, and that tension in the jaw not just puts friction on the teeth from rubbing them together and rocks the teeth in the in the gum socket, so to wear down the gum and um, cause problems um, with loose teeth, but it also restricts the blood flow of the necessary nutrients, hormones, and proteins that your teeth and gums need to be healthy and to heal themselves. So uh, grinding or clenching your teeth is a really big part of teeth healing work. And it's not enough just to get a, a, a guard or a bite plate or whatever it is that you get from the dentist to stop your teeth, um, stop the friction effects of um, grinding your teeth. Um, what I do is help you to make sure that your jaw is really relaxed so that um, the whole system can work better to support teeth and gum healing. Uh, right, so if anyone, see some other people just joined, say hi in the comments if you've just joined us. I'm doing quantum teeth readings and uh, you just let me know in the comments what number tooth you have a problem with. Okay, so Shannon, I had to go away, but you can watch the recording, Shannon. Um, so if anyone else would like a reading, um, let me know in the comments what tooth. You're welcome, Summer. Um, 
And uh, so today I'm just doing um, three uh, single tooth and gum area readings. But if you want a full reading of all the metaph metaphysical influences that are playing out in your oral health care, um, then uh, I offer um, a full reading, which is 99 Australian dollars. And we get on a private video call. You have me all to yourself. And um, we interpret the emotional, the um, psychological, the maybe ancestral, spiritual influences on your teeth. And the reason that's really helpful for your healing is because um, our body can uh, hold on to those emotions or those thoughts in a way that blocks the cells of our physical body from being able to function in a healthy way because those cells are always responding to information so they respond to information that comes in from nutrients and from our environment all sorts of things but also from our thoughts and feelings so um hello kimberly kimberly nicole my cousin is here lovely to see you darling um now uh, if People who are watching on their phone um, may have the option, if you're on the right kind of phone, to um, join me on camera for a uh, quantum teeth reading. So let me know if you want to do that. Otherwise, pop your tooth number in the comments. So how this chart works is this is the right side of your mouth, the left side, that's your right and your left, not mine, um, bottom and top. So you choose the number. Now I've put the line down the middle because it's often easier to count back from the center of your front teeth and to count back from the front, particularly if you're missing wisdom teeth, uh, when the numbers don't, won't line up. Um, so let me know if anyone else wants a reading. And uh, while we're just waiting for comments to come through, because I can never tell whether the comments are delayed or if just no one's commenting. So um, let me know if you're uh, still there. <laughs> I'm having a sip of my nettle tea, which is a great herb for supporting uh, teeth and gum healing. Now I'll just take this um, moment to talk about this uh, embroidery, embroidered prayer flags behind me because this is part of um, what I do as uh, in my um, the metaphysical side of my teeth healing is I channel healing codes that help to balance the chakras and activate your energetic body to support your teeth healing and um, so this is this is the code that um, that I channeled for the uh, Thank you, Shannon. It's lovely to have you here. This is the code that supports the quantum teeth reading. So if you've just had a quantum teeth reading with me now, have a look at this and let the, the visual image, you don't have to do anything with it, but just um, let the visual image um, into your imagination, really, and... Uh, support the healing, support you to integrate this information. Oh, there's so many love hearts. Thank you, Greg, for sending me thousands of love hearts. It's gorgeous to see. Um, uh, so uh, and this is this is a code. I've just finished this, so I haven't sewed it into the flag yet. Um, this is the, my favourite code at the moment. This just came through last week. And this is a code for uh, people to... Uh, do uh, who are integrating or embodying a big spiritual energetic uh, transition at the moment. So Shannon asks, may I have a full teeth reading, please? Yes, you may, Shannon. I would love to do that. It's so 99 Australian dollars, and you can PM me um, to get the details, or I will PM you um, if I have if I don't get a message from you. I might your name because I lose that in the Facebook. Sometimes Facebook does weird things to comments. Um, and um, yeah. 
So if you do a full quantum tree threading with me, I send you a, a high definition digital photograph of this code for you to like use as a screensaver on your phone or a desktop background that will help you to integrate and fully embody the, um, the insights from the reading. Um, yeah. So anyway, I was just talking about this code, my gorgeous favourite code at the moment. I just am completely in love with this code at the moment. I don't know how well it's coming across in the camera, but this one um, is really helping me to process um, the big transitions that I've been going through lately as I've been stepping into this intuitive aspect of my teeth healing work. Um, so... And I think it will support other people who are also going into um, a new a level of um, intuitive or spiritual um, development. So that's my codes. Uh, if anyone else would like a single truth reading for free with me live now, I'll do one more before I finish up. I always lose track of time. I can't see a clock from where I am, so who knows whether I'm going for half an hour or not. But this is the chart. If you would like a single tooth reading, let me know the number of the tooth that you would like to know about in the symptom. And I will give you an interpretation using the um, Meridian system. The system developed by the French dentist, Dr. Michel Coffin, who had a family practice for decades working with generations in the same family. And he observed the same kind of emotional and social patterns playing out uh, in association with particular types of teeth problems. And he worked out this whole system, wrote a book, unfortunately not yet translated from the French, so I'm working on uh, some articles on the internet but I'm still really useful. And then I combine those two systems with my intuitive interpretation, which I access with my uh, tarot cards. And uh, I use the uh, Madison Waterman tarot uh, from Carol Bridges that I've been using these cards for 25 or more years exclusively. I'm not one of those people that's got 50 different decks. I just have the one. Oana, am I saying that right? Oana says, hey, thank you for doing this. So I'm having some trouble with a cyst between 30 and 31, bottom right. Just looking at my chart. Yep. Um, discovered this after a dental fistula appeared. Oh, no, and treated with some essential oils. And propolis, and now it looks pretty good, but I'm still trying to figure this out. Okay, excellent question. Thank you. So, Lana, I hope I'm saying that's right. Is that right? Um, so, 30 and 31 are both on the, the meridian that's called the triple warmer. It's associated with. Um, Oh no, hold on, that's the wisdom. It's associated with the, the meridian for the lung and the large intestine. intestine. And uh, those back molars on the lower right are very much about how you are putting yourself out into the world, usually to do with career or if you have your own business, to do with your business. But it's about taking action um, in the public sphere. So it's not about your private, personal, emotional life with your family. It's about how you present yourself kind of publicly. Um, and it's about um, I think um, maybe this fistula and the problem that you've had uh, the cyst um, may have flared up because of a sense of being um, a bit uptight, a bit uh, stressed and um, 
controlling the knee feeling I need to be in control and some of work in relation to your career or business. We've got a helper cat here. Sometimes the cats give me insight more into the causes and sometimes more into what we need to support the health beauty. So there's a beautiful helper for you. It's a guide. So, um, Wana, are you someone who um, has a, a connection with an inner guide, like a spirit guide or um, just a sense of your own intuitive um, inner guidance system because I think that the answer for you will be in um, uh, really supporting that, feeding that relationship with your inner guide. So that will probably mean taking some time, some quiet time alone, meditating. If you've got a meditation practice, doing that. If you don't have a meditation practice, then I would encourage you to try uh, some form of uh, solitary, mindful um, uh, inner work where it might be going for a walk in the bush or on the beach by yourself and, um, and letting your um, mind explore the question of uh, what's behind the cyst um, or yeah, what it's like your guide, your inner guide is trying to tell you something. And because the, the channel for more direct communication um, uh, has either been blocked or you've been ignoring your inner guidance, particularly in relation to career or business, um, uh, the, the message is now coming through in the physical body. So the important thing is to... Uh, is to tap into that um, that guidance, that inner guidance, and uh, respond to pay attention, to acknowledge, to take action in response to that. Um, because if you don't continue to, um, if you continue to not uh, be um, listening to your inner guidance then the, the problem in between your teeth with the cyst is, is just going to hang around and probably get worse as your body tries to get your attention. Um, it's like uh, it's like at the moment it's just murmuring. It's, it's just saying, hey, pay attention, I'm here. But um, eventually it'll start like beating on the door and that's when the pain and the real problems and the, the, um, the bad infections and uh, root problems can start to flare up. And I know I'm speaking from personal experience. <laughs> I know that in the past, um, not listening to my intuition has meant that my body has had to resort to increasingly more painful and uncomfortable ways to get my me to pay attention to the soul message. And um, yeah, so let me know if that has any resonance for you, Oana. Um, if that is making any sense, I hope that helps. Um, now I'm I'm going to finish up for today, but I just want to let you all know if you would like a full quantum teeth reading, that's where I look at the whole of your mouth. Uh, we can do that in a private one-on-one -on -one video call. It's 99 Australian dollars, and um, I'm very focused on solutions. So it's not just telling you what I understand to be the the underlying causes, but also the way forward and how to um, heal your teeth and prevent future problems from developing. It makes a lot of sense, Ezwana. Lots of thanks. You are so welcome. Thank you for joining me. And thank you, everyone. It's been lovely. If you are interested in a full quantum teeth reading, uh, just send me a PM or put something in the comments and I'll um, PM you. Um, Otherwise, it's been great. And if you missed out on the reading because you're watching the recording, I'm trying to do um, three a week at the moment, one Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm not quite ready to commit to a 
exact schedule, but I'm working towards that. But um, yeah, if you follow the Holistic Kids Theory page and click the notification option of C first, then you will find out when I do the readings, you'll get a, a notification and you can hop on and have a that free reading with me then. All right, lovelies, thank you so much. It's been a joy and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.